let p be a prime number if p divides a square where a is a positive integer then p divides a so what does this theorem mean and uh, how will this theorem be useful in irrational numbers we shall uh, see now so let us assume that the prime factorization of a is as follows so let's say a equal to p1 into p2 into p3 and so on till pn where these uh, numbers p1 p2 p3 so on pn let me separate them by commas p1 p2 and so on till pn are primes but not necessarily distinct so if i have this a equal to p1 into p2 into p3 into so on till pn if i square a i will have a square equal to p1 into p2 into so on till pn into p1 into p2 into so on till pn or i can simply write it as a square equal to p1 square into p2 square into p3 square and so on till pn square now we have that uh, p let's say a prime number p divides a square let p divide a square now according to the fundamental theorem of arithmetic we have learned before it says that if p is one of the prime factors of a square and uh, due to the uniqueness of uh, the prime factors of a number we can say that if only prime factors of a square are p1 p2 and so on till pn then p is one of p1 p2 and so on till pn from fundamental theorem of arithmetic if p is one of prime factors of a square then according to the fundamental theorem of the uh, arithmetic according to the theorem only prime factors of a square are p1 p2 so on till pn then p is one of p1 p2 so on till pn then we can simply write that if since from here we already have that since a equal to p1 p2 so on till pn then we can say that p divides a since p is one of p1 p2 and so on till pn p divides a now let me take an example like uh, let's say let's uh, now for the above theorem we have learnt let me take an example to explain it to you clearly um, let's assume let a equal to some number let a equal to 100 if a equal to 100 we'll have uh, a square equal to 100 into 100 that would be 10,000 so now we have to take a prime number that would divide a square um, so a number a prime number that would divide a square we can take uh, the number 2 or 5 because both of them are divisible by 10,000 so let uh, p equal to 2 so here we can observe that uh, 
divides a square. That means uh, 10,000 if I divide it by 2, get 5,000. And so we can say that 2 is one of the prime factors of a square. So according to the theorem we have learned, it also says if p divides a square, then p also divides a. So that means here a equal to 100 and uh, p equal to 2. So 100 by 2 we would get the number 50. So this theorem can be proved practically in this way through this example. So p divides a square, p also divides a.